In this video we're going to migrate a JCS instance on OCI Classic to OCI to a pre-created resource on OCI. And the real power here is that we have flexibility in the destination in the OCI region so we can create and to target a resource with any version and we have greater flexibility in terms of choosing a shape and a database version and also the WebLogic server version. So in the source OCI classic environment, I have a JCS 12.2.1.3 instance here, and we'll migrate this to a 12.2.1.4 instance in the target OCI destination region. So we have the capability to upgrade the database as well. So the associated database in classic is 12.1.0.2. So in my target OCI region, then I can go about creating the target pre-created resources so first of all I need to set up some security credentials so we can do so under security and vault I've already created a vault here but it's very straightforward you just really give it a name and choose a compartment and inside the security vault we create the secrets so this is where we upload our weblogic server admin password and also the private SSH key so creating a secret is very straightforward you give it a name you select a key and you just upload the private key contents or your password here and this will generate an Oracle Cloud ID or an OSID and you need to take note of this for later on in the migration. We also need to take the step to, to grant AMS access to this security secret so under IAM policies go to identity and policies and we want to go to the root compartment and grant IAM access, to, grant AMS access to this security vault. So we do so with this statement, allow application migration to read the secret in this compartment for this secret ID. So the next step is to create the WebLogic server stack in the target OCI region. So the first step is to create a database. So I just go in under bare metal VM or exadata. And I've already created the database here and it's fairly straightforward. The wizard is fairly self-explanatory. You can see I'm effectively upgrading to database version 19.8 here as well. And in the database console, we can just create a database with this wizard very, very easily. Just choose the shape and the data center and the VCN, etc. So the next step then is to go to the marketplace and launch a WebLogic server. So under marketplace, we choose applications. We search for WebLogic. And we're choosing the latest version here, 12.2.1.4, so we're effectively up upgrading in this migration as well. We choose the destination compartment and then we launch the stack. So we give it a name and a description. The compartment is pre-selected, then choose next. So I give it a name, I choose a WebLogic server shape here from the dropdown. And I enter my public key, my SSH key here. You can choose a server node count and then we give it a WebLogic um, username and the admin password is the secret we created earlier on and we took note of the Oracle Cloud ID or the OSID then. And next we select the network uh, configuration so we're uh, migrating to this compartment we're using an existing VCN we created and it's JCS test VCN and we're using an existing subnet which is a private subnet in this case. So we're migrating from a public subnet into a private subnet in the target, target OCI region it's a regional subnet and then we choose a subnet for the WebLogic server again this is selecting the subnet here so this is the VCN the subnet type and then the private subnet we also choose a public subnet for the bastion host and go with the default shape and then we need to provision the Java required files so we select this tick box here and this enables us to select a database so we previously created a database system and we can choose it from here. As I select the database in this drop down, the subsequent field uh, populates. So in this one, I'm going to choose the JCN test VCN again. And the database home is the default here. It pre populates the database version. And I can choose the database name and then the PDB. And then I need to provide the OSIT for the password here as well again. I go to default port and then I can hit next and then create. So this target WebLogic server stack is created with resource manager which is effectively Terraform as a service and it's launching this WebLogic server stack in OCI and this will become the target for our migration. 
So this functionality is in beta release, so it's important to note there's some requirements around the, the VCN subnet settings. So if I go to my networking set settings and go to VCNs, the virtual cloud networks, choose the target uh, VCN here is JCS test VCN. So it's important to note some of the settings here. I've got a private subnet and a regional uh, public subnet. And I've gone with these CEDAR ranges. And I need to take note of the route tables here. So I have a Phoenix Services route table set up um, with, with these settings. And also a default route table with these settings. And importantly, under security lists, then I've got some custom settings here you need to take note of. So under ingress rule, I have the following rules for the private subnet list here. And under the default security list, there's some settings here for the, the public subnets. So if I scroll back to resource manager and I go to stacks, I can see this stack being created here from the marketplace. And this is a WebLogic 12214 stack created in a private subnet. If we click into it, we've got all the logging available here from Resource Manager. So this can, goes into great detail in, into the Terraform output, the steps it's taken in the background here to launch this stack. We need to take note of the stack OSID or the stack Oracle Cloud ID, because we'll need this to as a target to migrate to shortly. And so now our stack is created successfully. So now we can perform the migration from the application migration service in the console here. So the initial landing page will guide us through the different steps here. The first step is to create the source. So the source is the credentials for your OCI Classic source environment. So in this case, it's Orc Dev Test One is the name of the identity domain, and it'll prompt us for this here in the in the tooltip. So it's either the identity domain or for other accounts, it's the, the compute prefix here, it's a nine digit number. In this case, it's identity domain. Uh, the source region in OCI Classic is US Com Central 1. And then we enter our OCI Classic credentials here. So I've already created this source here. And this source will list all the applications that are eligible for migration into this target OCI region. And remember, this is the application we want to migrate. It's the 12.2.1.3 JCS instance running in OCI Classic. So we can give it a name here just to match the description. So it's, and it's on a private subnet in the destination. And then we need to provide the WebLogic details here. So it's the WebLogic credentials here. And we're choosing the WebLogic server on OCI Marketplace, which is the future direction for this product. And then we're using an existing target instance that we created just a moment ago. So this goes ahead and it creates the migration. And what it's doing here is discovering the metadata and the artifacts necessary from OCI Classic to perform the migration. So once it's finished, it prompts us for some more information. So we have to configure the target service and we do so from this screen here. So configure. And so because we chose an existing target instance in the previous uh, wizard, we just need to enter the credentials for this existing target instance. So we need to provide the WebLogic server admin username and password, as well as the stack OSID. So this is the stack OSID of the the stack we created on Marketplace, as well as the OSID for the private key inside the security vault we created earlier. So once we've done this, we just hit configure. And this gives us the option then to save and run the, the migration. If we wanted to, we could also add some custom data sources here as well. But in this case, we'll just proceed with the migration. So we're migrating to a pre-created resource. So this should take very little time in comparison to previous migrations, because we're migrating off the old PSM, the past service manager APIs, onto the resource manager APIs on OCI. And eventually the migration is complete. So we can see it migrated there in about eight minutes or seven minutes. And this is migrating from uh, an earlier version, an earlier database version and an earlier JCS version to upgrading to a new version on OCI into a private subnet, which is more secure. And then we can access this stack via resource manager. And this is where the migration has landed in the destination OCI region.